Welcome back. Now, dairy farmers, if you want your cow to produce more milk, then you should play some classical music. A recent study by the University of Pretoria has shown that playing soothing classical music to dairy cows actually lowers their stress levels and increases milk production. Researcher Liesel Erasmus has combined her two passions, that of music and animals, to come up with the first study of its kind in South Africa. Erasmus joins me now to talk more about this. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. This is very interesting. I guess music has an impact on everyone, yeah. including cows. Um, maybe just tell us about the study and how you came about understanding uh, what impact classical soothing music has on uh, cows. So I have a degree in music from the University of Pretoria as well. And then I switched over to animal sciences. And to me, it was just a natural question to ponder about the effect that music will have on cows. And I love dairy cows, so it was just, they were the target audience from the beginning. And for me, we looked at soothing classical music because that was what a research has shown who worked on other animals. So we had three treatments, one where we exposed the cows to constant classical music, uh, the second one where they were exposed to limited classical music, which only happened in the milking parlor, and then the control group, no classical music. So we had three groups of cows. Each group were, um, it, it were exposed to each treatment. And then we saw that um, the group that, all, when all groups were exposed to constant, um, constant musical exposure, they all had lower stress level and associated increase in milk production. Very interesting. So how, how does this actually work? Do you just have a speaker? How does it just take me through? I'm trying to figure out how this all works and how the, the cows react to this. So what we did for the barn where they basically sleep and eat and spend their day, we um, built a how do you, element resisted um, speaker. So basically just a speaker in a um, protective box and we connected that to the power out uh, or outlet and then in case of load shedding or power outage we connected a battery as well so they were exposed 24 hours a day to classical music it was um, eight hours of classical music playlist that um, was placed on random shuffle um, no <laughs> so that they don't have you know an associated music um, a play a musical work associated with, with an action of the day so um, random shuffle and then, um, you know, it wasn't a fancy speaker or anything. We just connected that to an audio or a radio that played uh, the music over a USB. And then in the milk parlor, we used a portable speaker, so a JBL that was connected to an old phone that played the music over um, Bluetooth. Interesting. I'm also curious to ask you, and I'm sure this obviously came out in your, in your study, but, you know, one would say what kind of stress would a cow be under that you would find the need to soothe it and play this music? Uh, what, what did you find in your study that you, you decided to try and um, alleviate the stress from these animals? So for a dairy cow, they are exposed to many unnatural noises, so like traffic or um, just screaming noises from workers or people in the surrounding, just noises that they aren't necessarily familiar with. And then in the milking parlor as well, the milk machine is very loud. So the action of milking itself can also be very stressful for them. Then there's also a practice in the um, dairy farming system where some of the, the calves are taken away from their mothers, which is also very stressful for them. Mm -hmm. So they do have certain events that can be very stressful for them. And then um, playing this soothing classical music to them gives them the or the chance to just relax a little bit as well. And that action of relaxing gives them a little bit more energy so that um, that, that energy can then used to be milk, um, that energy can be used for milk production. Mm, maybe just speak to us about what it does to their milk production because that is, is of course, uh, vital in making sure that the animal isn't under distress when producing this kind of milk. What, um, what difference have you seen once the, the cow or the animal has been subjected to the soothing classical music in terms of its, its production of milk? So constant exposure to classical music, we saw an increase 
needs of approximately two litres on average per cow per day, an increase of that. Okay, and, and the quality of the milk, is it any different because of this soothing classical experience? It's still good quality milk. Um, it goes through the process of pasteurization and everything, but it's um, good quality that can, can be sold and that's then processed. But it's not, it does, we didn't specifically each um, test if it had a different quality to that of um, no exposure. Okay, so there's no like magic taste of the milk or anything. Uh, just quickly, lastly, <laughs> no, I just want to ask you about, sorry, this story is actually really fascinating. Just lastly, I want to ask you about any further studies that you would be embarking on uh, when it comes to uh, these environments that animals are subjected to, because at the end of the day, it's also about their welfare and the kind of impact it has on their production. So I will be continuing with a PhD. We've started at the beginning of the year. So it will also be welfare focused and will incorporate um, precision farming as well as heat stress and then hopefully continue with an element of, um, you know, classical compositions as well. Okay, very interesting. Thank you so much for uh, your insights and the, the work that you're doing. We do appreciate it. That was Lisa Erasmus, who has done a study on uh, how uh, soothing classical music increases the production of dairy cows. Very interesting there.